and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today I thought I would share with you a job that I set up and I took some video footage of the setup so I wanted to show that to you but this job was a great example of how you can use high opacity plastisol inks which have very high coverage directly on to you know printing directly onto dark garments like a brown like this or even a darker brown like this. Okay, this is almost black, all right? And I wanted to show you this because these high opacity inks perform very well. Now, it is true that if you print them on a white underbase, they'll really pop. They'll really have a strong color, pretty much the same color that they have in the bucket. If you print it on a white underbase, they'll really pop out and be really strong and vibrant. Now on the other side of the coin is that you can print them directly onto the dark garments without a white underbase. And um, they, the, the high opacity inks, if it's a really good quality high opacity ink, will perform very well. It's true that it'll be toned down just ever so slightly without the white underbase. But that can work to your advantage, and that's the reason why we chose not to print the white underbase today, is because we wanted to reduce the volume of ink on the shirt to give it a, you know, make it keep a softer feel. And we also wanted to just, you know, tone down the ink just ever so slightly. So rather than printing it on a white underbase, which would really make it stark and pop out at you, we eliminated the white underbase and went directly onto the dark garments, okay? And, of course, it makes for a faster print job. Okay, and we'll show you the prints. These shirts are actually printed, but we'll show you the prints. We're going to run through the setup and everything and show you the printing, and then we'll show you the prints close up. So, let's take a look at the inkjet film. For this job, we only have three printers. Like I said, we're printing three high opacity colors onto a dark garment. But we've eliminated the white printer just so that it reduces the volume of ink and just so it kind of tones the ink down just a little bit. Not so much, but just a little bit. Okay, and uh, so therefore we only have three printers, which makes this job a little bit easier to print. Okay, we've got an orange printer. Okay, let me see if I can show this to you. We've got an orange printer. Not sure uh, how well you can see that, but then we've got a red printer. Okay, and of course, finally, we have a little gray printer. This will be like a very light gray. And as you can see, it'll do the skull, face, and everything. So it should look pretty good. All right, so um, that's it. Three printers, three pieces of uh, inkjet film positives. We go, went to screen. We have it set up in the press. And I actually made some video of the setup and the printing. So let's take a quick look at the inks before we run into the... Uh, setup footage and the printing footage, shall we? These are the three high opacity Plastisol inks that we're going to use. We have a clockwork orange type orange, we have a fire engine bright red, and we have a very light gray. Now all these would be considered to be high opacity inks. The red and the orange are certainly high opacity and the, they're formulated as such and sold as such, but the gray is not. However, it is high opacity because gray inks are merely white ink with a little black. So uh, because it has the pigment of the white, the gray inks will tend to be, you know, very decent at coverage, even though they might not be listed as a high opacity. They should perform well because there should be a lot of white pigment. The first thing we have to do is line up all the screens and I have my grid set up on the palette or my crosshairs and uh, I apologize they're a little jacked up. I had some issues with my marker and the uh, and the uh, straight edge so <laughs> um, but anyway the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this uh, with the film today. Okay so I'm just making sure the palette's locked in and then I am going to use the grid mark to line up my transparency or my inkjet film positive and center it okay and then I will probably tape it down. But first I need to get an idea of where it's at. Okay, so five on the other side. Do, 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 do. We've got to measure this in. Okay, so this takes a minute. That's pretty good right there. All right, so now I'll try to straighten it out. On the back, on this bottom line, I'm using to straighten the 
tattoo text and on the top I'm using the from from this edge to the line from this edge to the line to get it centered oops got to do inches okay so it's about five inches on either side that's pretty good so I will tape that down so it doesn't move on me and when you're taping on the uh, emulsion side of the inkjet film it really the tape just grabs so you just want to kind of stick it on the edge okay and then basically the gist of this is that I'm gonna line up each screen to this film positive okay so I will uh, fast motion this so to speak so that we have time to, so that you can kind of see all three screens, all right? So, but basically you can see, this is all I'm doing, is I'm gonna line this up to this as best as I can. So I'm looking at my crosshairs and I'm looking at the design and everything, okay? So now I'm gonna concentrate and line up the three screens before I ink them up, okay? So we're gonna fast motion. I have the screens now in their general uh, positioning for registration, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inkjet film positive off the palette and we're going to ink up the screens really quick. Now, we're going to do a test print on black, so I'm going to spray tack my palette so the shirt stays to the palette, and then we're going to do a quick test print here, and I'll, I'll speed up some of the parts because we're going to flash this, because since, since I'm going right on the dark shirt, I don't want to pick up any ink on the subsequent screen, so I'm going to flash it when I actually run this job, but today, I'll just use the heat gun. Okay, so you can tell by, if you look down here at this, where the ruler is pointing to the crosshair, you can see that the gray is overprinting the other two colors quite perfectly. So it looks like we have really good registration and I am going to tape off the reg marks and proceed to the test print. So that worked out pretty well. Let's quickly do the dark brown and then we'll take a close up look. Alright, so here's a close-up of the print real quick. This is the light brown. And this is the dark brown. I have to admit that I had a lot of fun making this video and again, it's a great example of how setting up your artwork properly and setting it up specifically for the color shirt that you're printing on. For instance, this artwork was set up for dark garments. So we couldn't really print this on light garments without changing the appearance of the whole design. You would lose the dark lines that are that the shirt fabric is actually creating inside the design, you know? So um, it's a really great example of how high opacity inks in combination with really good artwork, you know, you can actually print on dark garments without the white underbase. And it's interesting that you can see the darker garment actually 
The, the ink seemed to pop more on the darker garment. It was very interesting. And even the black test print that we did, the inks really popped on there. But then, when we printed it on this, this nice kind of uh, middle brown, chestnut brown, it really kind of changed the whole look of the design and changed the appearance of the color because remember that the shirt itself will affect your perception of the color. Not only that some of the fabric is coming, you know, affecting the color just slightly like we mentioned because there's no white underbase, but also the whole brown of the shirt as you look at these colors it, it affects your perception of the color. Okay, so that's something important to remember too. So. Pretty cool video, a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please remember that you can support the continued production of educational screen printing videos by Catspit Productions by using our promo codes on the print supplies page of the Catspit Productions website. Okay, If you go to our website at catspitproductionsllc.com and you check out the print supplies page, you'll see that there are vendors there that offer discounts when you use a promo code. And of course, it's a Catspit promo code. So you get a discount and it helps support the continued production of videos just like the one you watched. All right, and we greatly appreciate your support. I appreciate your time and attention in watching my videos very much. So thanks a lot for your time. If you like what you see, please comment below, rate thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. That helps out a lot. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.